in sort of Devon, just outside Plymouth on the east side. I've been sailing since I was sort of primary school age and then I was working in the fishing industry, mainly in shellfish farming. She's a replica Bristol pie cutter called Edith Gray, built in, in Bristol by a guy called John Raymond Barker. Back end of the 1800s, beginning of the 1900s, pilot vessels in the Bristol Channel, piloting ship to navigate, I guess. There was plenty of work. I think there were 100 or so of them working at one stage. We did a trip up to Harris. There we left in mid-April from Devon, boxed up to uh, May Lake by the end of April. Month of May and in and around Sky and lots of the different locks and out of Hebrides, the small isles. And then made our way back and that's when you saw it. But it was, we'd just been into two wonderful Titanic museum that you got there. And we were just making our way back down south when you saw us heading out of Belfast Lock. From Belfast we went to Arklow. Probably the best sail we had in the whole two months, actually. Twelve hours without a foul tide. And then across to Milford Haven. We cut out Dublin. And then when we left Arklow, we, it was quite windy as we were in Arklow for six days waiting for the wind to drop. And it was great. We had a fantastic sail. One stage we, we managed 38 miles in, in five hours. So that was quite good going. Although when the tide turned, it, we crashed back down and then he managed to do two, two miles. We normally sailor with three or sometimes five that's about it really I mean it's absolutely fine to sail once it blows up a bit it's handy if you've got a third person and if you're doing longer trips where you're doing overnighters it's obviously it's an advantage to have four because you can just take watches and everyone's reasonably well rested two three days at sea if you need to